Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Greetings of peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome to Alhambra Studio Foundation. You're watching Aziz Life 360. Seven strategies to be fluent in any language. How to learn a second language. There exist claims, supposedly of hacks and barriers, breaking for language learning. These claims go further to suggest there is a chip mystery to language learning as well. Trust me, none of that is true and none of them work. It takes hours of study combined with stumbling through many, many conversations. Remember that language is conversation. Language is dialogue. Language is constant communication. Having said that, the following is seven strategies for language learning tips I've gathered over the years as a linguist and someone who speaks multiple languages. Number one, the alphabets. Why the alphabets? Because this is a big deal. I can't stress enough on the importance of techniques used to memorize and master the alphabets. Make sure you learn pronunciation patterns and articulation of points of every single letter. If you learn the alphabets the correct way, you will most likely speak the language quicker. Otherwise, you will struggle on how to pronounce words, and that can be very discouraging down the road. Make sure you master the alphabets. And what I have done through the years with any language is memorize and sing those alphabets every single day, multiple times when I could. Number two, listening. Even if you don't understand the content, just listen. Listening clears the wax out of your ears. Just listen. If you can listen to songs in your native language and memorize them by heart, you can listen to different tongues in order to better listening. Just listen. Get used to language sounds, tone, rhyme, and rhythm. Number three, passive listening. Don't just spend most of your time listening passively to someone talk. Little speaking on your part is actually a very use of your time. And that's just not how you learn. Repeat what you're listening to and don't concern yourself with the mistakes. Number four, expose yourself to the language. What I mean by that is learn the history of the language you are about to learn. Learn about the culture. We have a video about language and culture. Make sure you see it. I will add it, the link below. Watch movies, documentaries, news and TV shows. They are good supplementation and they can be a source of vocabulary down the road. But this should not be mistaken or replacements for legitimate practice. Learning a new language takes time and it's okay to spend time getting familiar to your new tongue. Exposure to a new language, culture, or new world means to study in two hours a day for two weeks will be more beneficial for you than studying one hour a day for two months. This is one reason why so many people take language classes in school and never remember a thing. It's because they only study three, four hours per week, and often the classes are separated by multiple days. Language requires a lot of repetition, a lot of reference experiences, and a consistent commitment and investment. Go at it 100%. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Number five, read and read and read and read. Once you have learned how to connect sentences, then read and just read and read loud. Let your tongue loose. Just read. Don't worry about the style of the author. Just read. And don't worry about understanding what you're reading. Just read. Get used to reading in a different tongue. Just read. When I decided as a teenager to learn the Deutsch language, I used to read small books loud to the point where I can at least hear myself. The goal was to be able to get used to the sound and the rhythm of the language. Number six, 
practice speaking and writing. Practice speaking and writing what you read. Let it out. Practice reading what you write. Start conversations. Spell it out. You're going to make a lot of mistakes. No worries. You're going to say a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense. No worries. You're even going to tell people a lot of dumb stuff. No worries. Just practice and move on. Here is a bonus for you. If there is a secret or hack to learning a new language, it's this. Hours and hours of awkward and strenuous conversation with people better than you in that language. An hour of conversation, with corrections of course, is as good as five hours in a classroom and ten hours with a language course by yourself. There are a few reasons for this. The first is motivation. I don't care how cool your study guide is. You're going to be far more invested and motivated to communicate with a live person in front of you than a book or an audio program on your computer. The second reason is that language is something that needs to be processed, not memorized. Staring and memorizing a word in a book or with flashcards a hundred times does not stick the same way than being forced to use words in conversations. I believe, I believe that our minds place more priority on memories which involve actual human and social experiences. Memories which have emotions tied to them. So for instance, if I look up the verb for to complain and use it in a sentence with a friend, chances are I'm always going to associate that word with that specific interaction and conversation I was having with him or her. Where yes, uh, I can blow by by that same word 20 times with flashcards and even though I may get it right, I haven't actually practiced implementing it, which means nothing to me. So it is less likely to stick with me. Number seven, take your time. Your tongue is not going to speak another language overnight. Learn a, langu a language in 10 days as some commercials advertise is, is absurd and misleading. Not even linguistics, uh, linguists can do it in, in six months. Find a way to make it fun. As with anything, if you're going to stick to it, you have to find a way to make it fun. Find people you enjoy talking to. Go to events where you can practice while doing something fun. Don't just sit in a classroom in front of a book or you're likely to burn out fairly quickly. Talk about personal topics which you care about. Find out about the person you're talking to. Make it a personal life experience or else you're going to be in for a long and enjoyable process which will likely end up in you forgetting everything you have learned. Speaking of taking your time, just so you know, you will go through phases. First, you're able to speak a little and understand nothing. Then you're able to understand far more than you speak. Then you become conversational, but it requires quite a bit of mental effort. After that, you're able to speak and understand without conscious mental effort. You don't have to translate words into your native tongue in your mind. I've met a lot of people all over the world with different tongues and backgrounds. Even those learned and educated, they sometimes have to think in their native language before they can respond. You don't want to be one of these people. Once you're able to speak and listen without thinking about it, you'll begin to actually think in the foreign language itself without effort. Once this happen, happens, you're really hitting a high level. And the final level, believe it or not, being able to follow a conversation between a large group of native speakers is the last piece of the puzzle to fall into place. Once that happens and you're able to interject, come in and out of the conversation at will, you're pretty set. After that, there is not really anywhere else 
to go without living in the country for at least a year or two and reaching complete fluency. To sum up, now that you have a sense of the relative life, investment required to learn the tongue or tongues of your choice. How about a few words of advice on how to start? Or perhaps it would be better before the how to consider the why. A lot of people start with the wrong motivation to learn a language. Real language learning, on the other hand, comes from passion for language, for the literature and the movies and being able to read in the language and of course to use it with people. Your goal in learning a language may be very different from other subjects. Languages are both information based and skill based. There are rules to memorize but changing tenses, ordering sentences and developing an accent are skills that take time and practice. A lot of practice. Your mind is wired in a such a way that your neural system is capable of doing wonders. The only person that comes between you and your mind is you and only you. To amount up your own language skills, one of the best ways to do so is to take advantage of your brain's aptitude for learning the language and familiarize yourself with an entirely new world. Make your language acquisition positive by approaching the language with the right mindset. Thank you for watching at Hambra Studio Foundation. This is Aziz Life360. Till next time, fi amani lahi wa riayatih. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Greetings of peace and blessings, everyone.